In this video guys, we're gonna look at which UK stocks are likely to get hit the hardest if we have a shutdown from the coronavirus. Stick around. Hey guys, warm welcome to you. Right, so coronavirus driving the markets is pure sentiment driven. Did a video a while back where we talked about the US stocks that could be hit from the coronavirus, whether you're gonna play it from the bounce side, or whether you're gonna play it from the short side, just letting you guys know the sort of things that potentially could be in play. We'll sort of remind ourselves about those later in the video in a moment. But in this video, I wanna focus specifically on the UK market, which shares are gonna get hit the hardest. So which company is gonna struggle if everyone goes into lockdown, if we have some sort of kind of quarantine, or if everyone just stops going out for a while, which companies are gonna get hit the hardest? Let's hit the screens and see which ones I've got. All right, guys, let's start from the beginning. So we've got, um, we've talked about this, put a daily chart so we can see in perspective. Now listen, same, same rules apply with all this kind of stuff. Um, it's not just because the stock's gonna get hit, doesn't necessarily mean it's a good short. It could have been hammered already. Uh, it could be good buy from the long side and recovery. There's plenty of other things that go into it rather than just identifying some stocks. And these are just some of my ideas as well. Um, it might not even be accurate. I'd be interested to hear your guys' opinions on the comment section below as always, and to let me know if you've got any others you want to add, because we can build a nice little database of, of stocks that maybe you know you can play if they've been absolutely hammered and we start to recover and they manage to survive and they haven't got too much debt, or stocks that really just think these guys are going bust and you want to short them um, as aggressively as possible. All right, so we start with the cruise liners. Uh, CCL and RCO, yes, I know these are US-based uh, codes here, but um, obviously the cruise liners guys are going to get hit. No one wants to go on a cruise at the moment. Um, people get infected on cruises, number one, and number two, you know, people are just going to get the travel industry in general is going to get smashed. Next one is Sydney World. They've been struggling for a long, long time though. Look at that chart, horrible chart. Loads of, just loads of bad news coming out. No one wants to go into a cinema. It's very expensive for these guys. Um, something to definitely um, uh, look out for as a negative impact from the virus. Okay, we've got into um, shopping center owners. Trafford Center is one of them. I think they're in Lakeside as well. Then lots of shopping centers. Footfall will be down. Uh, will will they get hit by retailers going bust and therefore having lots of units left open? I know they've got a lot of debt on their balance sheet as well. Um, these guys are struggling. Also favorite short from a lot of the hedge funds as well. Uh, train line, that's a bit of uh, software uh, website slash app that allows people to place, um, buy train tickets online. Now in some respects, they might weather the storm a little bit more, better than others, because you know they're an app, um, this kind of stuff, but they are all based on people traveling from A to B, and if we have this lockdown, if we have people traveling less, more people working from home, train tickets obviously are gonna get hit. Uh, other one, WH Smiths. Now, you think, why WH Smiths? Well, again, retail. Retail's been struggling anyway, guys, we know this. So this is like giving them a double smasher across the face. Um, and special WH Smiths, a lot of their revenue comes from the stations, comes from um, those little kiosk type things that you see in, 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 the, in the major stations across the UK, uh, and they're gonna struggle with that. And also, you know, they've always been struggling anyway. I've always been a, a, not, not a great fan of WH Smiths, even though it's kind of seemed to be creeping along. Just purely because, yeah, they're impulse purchases, you go and then you buy a penny, go buy a pad or whatever from time to time, maybe that keeps them going just enough. But, you know, if you're buying a serious amount of gear, you're gonna go on uh, on Amazon. Anyway, National Express, coach provider, pretty obvious. Who wants to sit on a coach full of coughing and sputtering people? Dixon's Car Phone Warehouse. These guys have always been really, really struggling. Uh, we know this tech, people are buying tech online now. We know that, you know, going into a store and having some guy tell you the benefits of this laptop is, is way past it. Surely, I'm sure there's some demographics people who still use it, but these guys are struggling. They've been hit hard, look, halved um, since we started to kick off. Uh, Ted Baker, maybe less so, this might be a bit harsh on these guys, but anything that's kind of apparel or got to go out and buy, maybe struggling. Uh, Stagecoach, again, same as National Express, coach company who wants to sit on a coach. And again, people traveling, even if you want to, maybe you're not able to. Super Dry, a fashion brand, same kind of thing as Ted Baker, will they struggle? 
um, possibly. Greg's, I've got a bit of stick for Greg's. I know a lot of Greg fans out there um, before what I mentioned about Greg's. Just purely because if people are working from home, Greg's seems to be the thing that people go to on the way to work, if they're working, to get their breakfast or lunchtime, that kind of stuff. I don't think it's the kind of thing that people go out specifically for when they can probably get a very similar item uh, elsewhere to, to kind of bake at home. I know it's not the same, but you get the point, right. Marks and Spencers, wow, this one has been slammed. Um, I know Marks and Spencers always trying to turn itself around. They seem to be doing really well with the food. Clothes are struggling. Um, you know, this has really been hammered. Uh, will, it be, will it struggle even further? Who knows? I mean, you know, this poor stock has been, uh, you know, it's been up to 700, I think, at one point. It's almost 600. There you go. I know it's 700 many years ago. I'm sure it was. Uh, there you go. Yeah. So now it's down under 100. Just today, under 100. That must make the dividend yield about 12%. Um, if you're into that kind of thing as well. So maybe uh, maybe that's something to look out for. If you're still bearish, who knows where that could go. Uh, Don Elm, yeah, one of these places that just sells home furnishings and bits and pieces. How well could they do if everyone doesn't travel? Uh, what we've got next, same kind of thing, just selling clothing. They've always been a little bit of a, I've never really liked uh, the brand specifically anyway, and they seem to have got hit hard. People just don't think, I think this, the market just doesn't think that people are gonna go out and go shopping anymore. Um, and even if there's a even if they do come back eventually, uh, can these companies weather the storm long enough to be able to um, you know, fight back? You know, or is it a permanent thing? The one thing about Marks and Spencer's guys again is um, they do have a food side of it. So you know, supermarkets have generally done okay. I don't know specifically the percentage of the revenue that comes from food, but I do know. The other supermarkets, if we punch in uh, Tesco, for example, they've not done too badly because people are still going to have to buy food. Yes, they've been hit broadly, but they're still going to have to buy food. And of course, people are doing a lot of food buying at the moment um, for staying in. So whether they're staying in or going out, they're buying food. So that could also apply to Marks and Spencer. Like I say, I don't know the revenue split um, in terms of clothes and stuff, but I know they've got a big overhead, obviously, with a lot of stores, uh, even though they've shut down a few. Halfords, same kind of thing. Uh, are people going to be that interested in going out and buying bikes and roof racks and stuff for traveling? It's all about traveling, isn't it? Camping. Yes, they do some small car parts bits, um, but again, I don't know the proportion of revenue. And then just a reminder, guys, of the companies that we said might get hit further. Um, if you thought that was a bearish thesis, Wind Group, the casinos, all the casino ones out there, the hotels, the travels, the airlines, United Airlines US, obviously, EasyJet, uh, UK listed, uh, that's been hit hard, as you might expect, Ryanair, all those kind of things. So, summary guys, transport is in trouble. We've seen the coaches, we've seen uh, the airlines, seen the cruise liners, that makes sense. Tourism, transport, travel, they are the ones that are gonna get hit the hardest. Will they recover? Who knows, Are there, is there a play to had if they bounce after, um, after it's all blown over? Potentially, is there more short side? Again, potentially that's the decision for you to make, just bring them to your attention. Other ones we've got obviously the things, bricks and mortar, people going out, people spending money, retail kind of stuff. Um, you know, they were already in trouble before and I dare say that this is not gonna help them. So the ones that have really got a lot of debt, uh, they might not survive. Um, the ones that are okay, and I've got other arms that can prop them up a little bit and, and stomach a little bit of footfall down uh, and maybe survive until Christmas and then boost it back up over Christmas, you know, they might be all right. And that's my, my thoughts on it. I don't know. Um, it's worth looking at some of those. And if you've got any more guys, put them in the comments section. Obviously I can't cover, cover all of them, but if you've got any that you think I've just completely missed that it's just an obvious play, um, then, you know, stick them in the comment section below so we can all value and benefit from that. Take care guys, bye-bye.